Bay Bear, the voice of the narrator from Dragon Ball Z, and you're watching Super Geek Stream. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Geek Stream, and we just got done seeing the e the EA press conference. And, I mean, it was amazing. I liked it. It was really good. I mean, they came out with a bang. Um, they they showed the Plants vs Zombies. What did they show first? Plants vs Zombies was the first one. And then they showed all their EA sports. They showed they showed off a really big game there, but it was actually probably looking forward to since like I mean, since the franchise started. Uh, Battlefront. I mean, whole part, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be part three. I'm hoping they actually go into more detail later to see like not like okay it'll be cool to give us a release date yeah or gameplay yeah or at least gameplay you know give us more information on it but i mean i think that was like the big uh i think that game's a good year away <laughs> yeah but i think that was like the biggest announcement they had i mean that and mirror's edge mirror's too. edge yeah, I was, uh, people have been asking for that game did you get to play that game i hadn't i personally have not played I, I, I got to play a little bit of it and it was really good miguel's played a lot more of it than i have but it people have been asking for it and dice has said that people have been asking for it so finally we're gonna get Murray's Edge 3 or 2 I should say and uh, we're gonna see how it goes it looks beautiful as it is so what do you think they did good in this Enterprise conference I think they did good for one by showing Battlefield and they showed the single player campaign and they showed the multiplayer campaign they had uh, 64 people playing uh, at, the same time. Yeah, at the same time and they had like some new command. What was it called? Com uh, uh, commander. It's commander, and basically you go up and I guess I'll be the commander, and I go up and tell you, hey, go at this point. The, you can look, look from the top, and you're ordering them where to go. But do you like think that. this feature would actually work on it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, if they do it correctly, yeah, it can work. But if they do it, there's a very easily easy way they can screw that up. Now, not only that, but I mean, um, you're playing, you're online, I mean, do you really want to, like, I, I know EA, I mean, EA, uh, Battlefront, it has, B Battlefield, sorry, B Battlefield has, is really a, a team-based um, multiplayer yeah. game, I mean, so it's not that compared to Call of Duty where just no, one, one, yeah, no, yeah. no one cooperates, so maybe this is a good thing, I mean, being the commander role, maybe it would actually will work, but I know for Call of Duty, personally, I mean, uh, someone tells you go here, no one's gonna, not, not that everyone, no one listens, but like, everyone wants to do their own thing, everyone wants to get their own kills, everyone wants to get their own kill streaks. So. I guess it just depends on the team that you have. Yeah, that's too, I mean, if you say. have a good team, they'll listen, but there's always going to be a 12 year old or a 13 year old that's going to be like, who win this and that? Uh Things they did bad. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really see anything bad that they did, to be honest with you. I mean, what do, what do you think? Uh, well, like, so, like, one of my friends was mentioning, um, the whole, when they announced the whole basketball thing, the whole bounce thing. Yeah, that is true. Uh, that. They talked for, like, they 10 talked minutes. Forever, and they showed, like, a 10 second clip, and, like, there's nothing really interesting was, about the video. No, I mean, there was the guy was dribbling, but, it. like, I, I was just looking for, I was hoping to see like real good dribbling and then, handling and skills mechanics but he literally just rolled, like a couple times and he just shot I mean that's, it. that's not gonna show me oh and my then, god this new technology and they did the about. same thing with UFC uh, yeah the UFC too um, UFC yeah. looks beautiful though. I mean that trailer unfortunately it's a, it's a nice trailer it's a trailer but we've seen it already. yeah we've seen that trailer and they showed the exact same one and I'm like really guys you guys are showing the exact same trailer for E3 yeah. there's nothing new like, and usually for EA Sports there's not much of a difference it's usually just take all but it's our, next gen yeah like our players cannot think i mean don't they say that all the time yeah like they say that every single our players can now actually block for you but they said that like probably last year or the year before that i mean there's not much of i remember when this gen or ps or the fourth gen or whatever it's called last generation basically they said that uh players will be able to learn and distinguish your different plays and you're gonna go right if you're gonna go yeah. left that never happened yeah uh, and, uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess sports would be disadvantage because I mean, no matter what you do in the EA Sports, I mean, it's you're still gonna get like the same feel out of it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty much. I, I'm gonna play probably Madden 12, uh, 25, and it's, it's still gonna feel like Madden 13. I mean, slightly different. Like, okay, yeah, this guy does block for me now. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's still not as like. It's very minuscule changes. Yeah, it's but not I, a big scale. I mean, it's not a big ass change. It's like, oh, it's gonna it's gonna change the franchise forever. Now that it's next gen, I really hope that it looks better. It plays better, that everything is a lot smoother, that they actually think. Now they have no excuse, they have plenty of RAM, they have mm -hmm. plenty of GPU memory to work with. So Not only that, but I really do hope like, their, like, their graphics actually kind of improve, because I mean, not that you play uh, Madden for the graphics. Of course, but you're going to be like, like, oh my god, Yeah, you're not going to like, yeah, it's his face. I mean, they have a helmet. I mean, it's not going to be like, oh, look, you can actually see that that actually portrays the character. Like, yeah, it doesn't, perfection. doesn't, no, doesn't I mean, matter. You're actually only playing just to play the football. Yeah. The gameplay mechanics is what matters out of everything in Madden. And overall, I think uh, EA did good. They had a little bit of blunders here and there. Not as bad as Microsoft. Not, no, they had no sound. Oh, what's? I mean, they had sound everywhere. I mean, yeah. They had, no, they had no blunders at all. Yeah. They had no mess ups. They did good. They they brought everybody out. Nobody froze on stage. Nobody was 
missed their lines. Everybody did good. But overall, it was mediocre. I think it was okay, and there wasn't that much. Usually, EA does really good, but this year was eh, it was it was alright. We'll, we'll see what Ubisoft has to show, and I think they're gonna go up next, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, Sony, Ubisoft, and Sony show blow us away. And thank you for watching Super Geek Stream. I'm Roy. I'm crispy. As always, it's crispy. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also follow us on Twitter. Now we have a Twitter at Super Geek Stream. Um, follow us on Facebook. I mean, follow us, but like our page. Like our page. Super Geek Stream. Follow us. And watch. We'll try to put up the links on the bottom so you guys can get them. Thank you. Kyle Bear, the voice of the narrator from Dragon Ball Z, and you're watching Super Geek Street.